Next up, we've got another mind map exercise. This one covers the Ethernet physical layer, both with copper cabling and with fiber cabling. Need about six minutes in your brain and either pen and paper or a mind map app. Let's do it. So your first step is to hit pause and make a list of all the terms you can think of about the Ethernet physical layer, both with copper and fiber cabling. You can start with the C term of Ethernet physical layer. When you think of an idea and you can't think of a term, you can just write a short description. All right, so go ahead and hit pause. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Take at most two minutes and just make a list. Step two, take two more minutes and turn your list into a mind map. So what does that look like? Well, you take any of the terms that you think go together and organize them together on your piece of paper or in the mind map. You see another set of terms that go together, organize them somewhere else. For terms that you don't really think go with the others, just stick them around with their space on the page. Whatever makes sense to you because it makes your brain then start to think about what these things mean and how they fit together. So here's a few seconds to hit pause and go off and do the next step. Optionally, here's the list of terms that I could think of from those two videos. If you'd like to hit pause and look at these and say, oh my goodness, that's a lot. He thought of these things. First off, I, I'm not worried about the details that you remembered so much. I really did want you to think of and focus on the big ideas from those videos. But if you'd like to hit pause and update your mind map and fill some of these in where you think they fit, you got five seconds to hit pause and go do that. So feel free to do that. This exercise is not about my finished product. I'm going to walk through my finished product, but it's about you doing the exercise, exercising your brain, making your brain think through how it's thinking about these ideas right now so your brain will percolate on things and learn more. All right. But here's what I came up with from the terms I could remember. So I organize things into some buckets. I'm going to go around the horn in a clockwise fashion. So types of Ethernet, I just remembered IEEE, and it didn't really fit in any other category, so I stuffed it up there. And, of course, there's copper cabling. We talked about in one video and fiber in another, so that seemed like a breakdown. So for copper, of course, we talked about 10 base T, 100 base T, and 1,000 base T. And we had common terms for those of Ethernet, fast Ethernet, and gigabit Ethernet, which reminds us, a little bit of the speed, like fast Ethernet being 100 meg and Ethernet being 10 meg, all right? And then there were the fiber standards. And again, when I was in that video with you, I told you I didn't really care so much about the particulars and details. I wanted you to think about the big ideas. But if you did remember some of those standards, there were the ones that were 1,000 base. That means 1,000 megabits or 1 gigabit and the ones with SX and LX are short and long. And then we had the 10 G base standards, which are 10 gigabit S for short, L for long. All right. Now on the copper standards, we had pinout issues. So we had the straight through cables where in the eight pin positions in the RJ45 connector, we had pin one, that wire connected to pin one on the other side, pin two to pin two, three to three, four to four, and so on. Whereas the crossover cable, that's the one for which we swapped the pairs. The pair at 1, 2 to 3, 6, and vice versa. The pair at 4, 5 to pin 7 and 8, and vice versa, to support gigabit Ethernet. Continuing around the horn on the cabling details for copper, we had that term unshielded twisted pair in that connector type of RJ45. And, you know, I could have organized that somewhere on the right. I just happened to separate it out a little bit. And fiber, we talked about a few of the components of the cable, right? We had the core and the cladding. The core is where the light goes. The cladding reflects things back in. And then we had single-mode fiber and multi-mode fiber. Multi-mode having a larger core that allows LEDs and single-mode narrower core where you typically use a laser to shine light down the cable. And then some features. You know, I guess I did in that first video talk about auto MDIX. Maybe I didn't, but now it's coming back to me. I, I paused because it's like, did I talk about that? So you see, 
there you go. There's a perfect case of maybe you would have wondered, did we talk about that term? And then you would think about it and remind your brain to think about it. There was also electromagnetic interference and NICs and just that term Ethernet port referring to a port on a switch. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this review exercise. If you're ready for a new video on the left, you can click and just move on to the next new topic in succession. If you're ready for a whole new chapter, the one talking about WAN and routing basics, you can click on the right and move on to that. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.